I would serve this in the champagne room at the Peekaboo Lounge. <laughs> Is there really a Peekaboo Lounge? Yes. Oh, geez. <laughs> We're going to get sued. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But this is free advertising. <laughs>
it's got the kind of modern business take to their venture. They source all the grains for all their whiskeys uh, locally. Um, pretty much, I think, just from one farm. Yeah, um, right. That was the, uh, it's in Quincy, Washington. I believe it's the Omelin family farm. It's like a third generation family of farmers. So yeah, uh, when I was doing the research, uh, Woodenville Whiskey Company is fairly new. It was established in 2010 by two good friends. It was Orlin Sorensen and Brett Carlo, I believe is how it's pronounced. And they actually uh, brought in the master distiller from Maker's Mark. And I believe he's their current their master distiller there too. So despite the fact that I am a Nimrod, I do really enjoy this, with this particular whiskey. And apparently it um, has won a fairly significant award in that it was the 2017 rye whiskey of the year by the American distilling Institute. So not, I'm not saying that, you know, we are Nimrods awards don't mean a whole lot to us, but <laughs> somebody else is, who should know what they're doing does appear to have recognized it. Yes. But awards are awards. I hosted a chili cook off and came in first place and I'm still damn proud of that trophy. <laughs> I can reach it. <laughs> judge, though, weren't you? Yeah, judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> they get it mashed, distilled, and barreled in Woodenville, and then they, uh, when it sets and matures, they truck it to the eastern part of Washington. I guess the other side of the Cascade Mountains because mm -hmm. of the, the uh, difference in the climate. Oh, yeah, big different and western. Yeah, the east side is much drier. Uh, much colder in the winter, much hotter in the summer. Um, and I think it's that extreme temperatures that supposedly helps helps the whiskey extract the, the oak from the barrels. As always. It's the wood that makes it good. <laughs> As it is in life. It's all about wood management. <laughs> Anything else we need to learn? <laughs> I, I think I've learned enough. <laughs> I get drinking. Good idea. Take it from my own instrument. Neat dude with a, get it from my uh, church flask here. Very subtle. Obviously, you get the, the oak right away. I get spicy. The, and I get some, yeah, obviously spicy, peppery. And I get, I get, but I also have a sweetness in there on the nose. I don't know what caramel maybe or, or oh, um, um, I'm back to the like dried apricots again. That's right. Yeah. And I am going to cut mine with just a little bit of water here because that's, I think I prefer for it that way. But you should definitely start me. <clears throat> like I can smell more of the, the fruit in it now after about a minute of letting it sit. I don't see more, I don't see floral, but it is fruity. I'm going fruit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was that. <clears throat> there was kind of a. It's less of an alcohol smell. It was kind of there at the beginning. It's gone now. Yeah, right. Right at the get go, there I was getting that as well. Um, no surprise at ninety proof, but yeah, that that mellow and that's what I'm getting right now. First taste is the the pepper. Yeah, but so I I get that as well. But I it's not a harsh peppery. I don't think. No, it's very it's subtle. So to me, to me, it's a mouthful of pepper. It isn't overwhelming or harsh or burning. And I feel like the flavors are, are fairly fruity as well. Yeah. Possibly, possibly even kind of almost berry-ish. I would say not spicy, but spices. Yes. Some pepper in there, and then the pepper goes away, and the, what lingers in, to me is the fruit. But not super sweet. Yeah. Just <clears throat> no, no, it's not sweet at all. It's the the peppery spice. That's the main the main flavor. That was my favorite Spice Girl. <laughs> yeah, pepper, pepper spice. <laughs> oh wait, that that wasn't a Spice Girl. She was at the, pep, Pepper Spice was at the Peekaboo Lounge, right? Always. <laughs> Tuesdays through Thursdays. <laughs> Why doesn't she get any weekend time? Yeah, she's new. Plus the bullet wound. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't see coming. Yeah. Neither did Neither she. Neither did she. <laughs> it's a cinnamon, maybe a little bit, but I, I'm not really getting a lot of cinnamon. I'm going with a just just a hint of cinnamon. Um, 
Cinnamon does get the weekend shift to the peekaboo, though. Absolutely. She's, but she's earned it. Yeah, she's been there a while. Um, I don't... Got the knife scar covered up. <laughs> why, why are all these girls at the peekaboo lounge being uh, assaulted with deadly weapons? You haven't been to 14th Street lately, have you? <laughs> Um, I don't get the allspice um, flavor, which I'm glad because I don't really care for allspice. Yeah, obviously, pepper, maybe the toffee. That's one, another one expected. I'm trying to see if I can pull the toffee out of it. I think I can some of that. Yeah, toffee to me is one of the flavors that, that, that lingers. I like a good toffee. Reminds me of my grandmother's house. <laughs> Can I offer you some liquid candy? <laughs> Grandma and Dorothy loved her some scotch and water. Good for her. I think it was J&B was her brand. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it was the 70s. No one knew better. <laughs> Nobody had ever been to Scotland before? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> this is dangerous with ice because I can just drink it <laughs> like, like, like a glass of water. This is how the ice just kind of really kind of takes away the, any, any of the peppery or any, any harshness that may be in there when it's straight. The ice yeah. just takes it right away. You still get the flavors. Nice dark color, too. Mm -hmm. Nice rich amber. Which by the end of her, her Saturday shift, amber is a lot more richer than she was. Yeah. No, I, I, haven't, I haven't come across the candy corn yet. No, I'm not getting that. But I could imagine a little root beer. I love that it there is no lingering flavor that is unappealing. Um, you know, we, some of our previous episodes, there's been some aftertaste that weren't really they, they they stood out as being negative to me. But um, this this is a pretty clean finish. No, I'm very very happy with this. This is I yet haven't really found anything wrong with with this one here. Mm -hmm. I, I got a hunch my final thoughts would be relatively positive. <laughs> <laughs> but we did mention a number of strippers, so on the stripper scale, it's scoring well. Do you have any uh, final thoughts on, on this? I do indeed. I don't care how many stripper names we've said, this particular whiskey rates very high on my scale. Um, I had actually forgotten about it for a few months, and <clears throat> when I remembered that, oh my gosh, that... That was a whiskey that I really enjoyed. Um, I definitely went back to it, and 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 I I like it very much. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Um, it's got a nice balance of fruit and pepper, um, and no lingering after flavors. Um, this is this is this ranks very high on the Nimrod scale. I'm gonna have to say of the eight we've done this season, this is my favorite one. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad my recommendation was one that that, that took to you. And we've we've yeah. tasted some good stuff. No, yeah, we've had some good stuff. So it's really you know no not disparaging you know the other ones we drank. This is just how good this is. This is I would have no qualms recommending this to anybody. I like the aroma. It's very approachable. When you drink it, it's very subtle. It's a nice finish. It's very smooth, but yet full of taste. It's one of those that's Complex and simple at the same time. There's a lot of flavors. There's a lot going on. But then when you finish it, it's just a nice, easy, smooth, subtle finish at the same time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is, I really like that about it. And then, like I said, you put it on ice and you can drink it like water. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids. No, <laughs> no this is a definitely high recommend. I think this was this is a great end of the season for, for us. Outstanding. It's good, good to go out and run. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> May your bottoms be up and your worries be down. Here, here. <laughs>